Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, they leave their signs and symbolism all around us. It is done in a type of storyboard way, even shown in commercials, TV shows, advertising all around the world storyboards, vision boards, it's their interpretation of things. And one of the things that they believe in is these have warned the public. These are messages to everybody. And it doesn't really matter that you don't see it. As a matter of fact, they want to hide it so that you don't see it. But in the karma effect of this is they've warned everybody. They've told everybody what's coming. They've handled the karma area of their magic. <clears throat> Now this new commercial here of the Italians are coming is showing the rise of the New World Order or what is known in the, little, in the Bible as the Little Horn of the Bible or an Antichrist if you want to say that <clears throat> in the beginning of what's known as the Great Tribulation. Everything means something to these guys. Even by using the song by T-Rex represents the reptilians being revealed that rule the world. The 500 means the fifth age coming. Now we're going to take a look at this three here and show how that shows them coming. This is one of many hieroglyphs I've broken down. You can match it both sides of here. This is when the devil comes down and when Obama betrays the world, a nuclear event to start World War III. But then up here you can see what is Russia, the bear. But in Russia's mouth is the Catholic Church. They have taken over the papacy and now they are going after the rest of the Christians. The, the Jesuits have Russia all prepared with the Russian Orthodox Church. It is run exactly like the Catholic Church. They have the, the Mother Mary statues and the, the transfigured Eucharist. Everything is prepared for Russia to rise up at that point in time. Now through history, the Catholics have rose up and trapped the Protestant Christians and murdered them millions and millions and millions of Christians have been murdered and set up in ambushes by the Catholics many times. The Catholics have even risen up in the middle of the night and put their bandages on their arm like a red sash and gone off and killed every Protestant they could see, actually hunting Christians down. This is all prepared. I've shown before how like on America's Got Talent with the two Jews of Howard Stern and, and Howard Mandel, they keep showing all this New World Order stuff coming. And they walked out the other night, they made sure these guys came out for a mariachi band. This is America. This should be against the law. They had these three children out here with machetes, literal knives. That's illegal in America to have children dancing with knives. This should not have even been allowed on TV. It's showing the little horn of the Bible rising up. See how they make sure their hat there? And they had the Catholics. Mexico is nearly 100% Catholic, and they hunt Protestant Christians down there. They sell them into slavery. They give them to the gangs. All of the Mexican gangs that you hear that are running all the drugs, they're all Catholics, each and every one of them. These guys are not for Jesus Christ. They are for Mary worship. Jesus does not like the Catholic Church. He says in the Bible he's going to send them all to a great time of testing because of their Mary worship. It's Jesus Christ or you go to hell. The Catholics go to Mary. They don't go to Jesus. They pray to statues. Jesus, you don't do that. You stay the heck away from idols. And these guys are all liars of the devil. The Catholics will sit there all day long and tell you why you should pray to Mary. It's nowhere in the Bible. These guys burn Bibles. They kill Christians, just like Islam does. And we just see right here Russia with the Catholic Church. Russia is friends with Islam. This is how you get that thing called Krizlam or something. But the Russians are right there with Islam and with the communists in China, and they're all going after the other Christians right there. So let's show that how the Italians are coming through here. So we have Paul Revere saying the British are coming.
and it's four horsemen. Did you see that? It's four cars. Four cars and one white one, which is called the little horn of the Bible coming. All right here. Wait. It's the Italians. The Italians. The Catholics. America was founded mostly on Protestant Christians believing in grace and salvation of our Lord. Everybody seems to forget the Catholics are the ones of the Dark Ages. They burned the Bible and they killed Christians. That's what they do. <laughs> They're for Mary worship. If you're for Jesus, they'll kill you. And it's supposed to be a great deception. If you don't understand this or can't figure this out, you need to kick yourself and make yourself read the Bible and make yourself understand. This is a battle for your soul. And if you don't understand this, you're losing. You're not on the winning side. Be with Jesus Christ. There they come. Most Americans don't even think that America is in the Bible. It's called the daughter of Babylon. And we are judged first in the Bible. The Catholics have corrupted America. Most of the porn industry is done by them. The drugs is done by them. It, they have corrupted the Supreme Court now. They have infiltrated America's churches. When America was founded, they fought not only Britain, but they fought the Pope and the Catholic Church. They were both one and the same back then. Everybody was fighting through that stuff in Europe. We didn't want anything to do with that European crap. All of the taxes and the tis and everything from all of them. Now they say the Italians are coming. And they're coming to trick all what is called the woman. So that's why all the women are getting dressed. They're coming to trick the brides of Christ is the symbolism here. Oh, they're coming to trick them. And they're all getting dolled up to go out there. I have to stop it every few seconds because this is a commercial, but it has a song by T-Rex in it. And if you don't stop it every few seconds, you'll get a copyright strike on your YouTube account. And they can take your whole account down. Even though it's just a commercial, the song in it is a trick. You see how tricky they are? If you try to run this commercial straight through, you'll get a strike. But those are the tricks that they have in there. The law says you can use 19 seconds of any song. And after that, you have to pay for it. See, here come the Italians. And all the brides of Christ the five. are getting ready to fall for the deception. Passenger, Fiat 500L. The 500, the fifth age coming. Let's go right down here. So they get down here and they start talking of a revolution coming. The revolution just got bigger. The revolution just got bigger. Now watch how we find out that he is the little horn. He will do a little thing near his crotch area. This is going to be so much better than the tea party. See, and all the girls, the brides of Christ, are falling for the great deception. Now watch what he does with the telescope. He'll make like a crotch effort. This should be illegal too. Why is this even on TV? How is this allowed in the United States of America? How is this going on? It's the Catholics. There he goes, the little horn of the Bible. It's all coming. Please, everybody, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. These are some of the most evil things in the universe. They are coming to kill everybody or to make you go to their church and come to the Mary worship. And it's all a great deception. Jesus Christ is going to destroy everything, all of it. America is going to rise back up at the end of this. They're going to, even the Jews want this to happen. Because after this is done, Jesus Christ destroys it. And then he sets up the Millennium Kingdom. And then the Jews, and it's the time of the law. And all of us to, will judge that age. We rule with Jesus Christ. We judge that age is what it's all about for the next age. But all of this is a great deception. There's the little horn of the Bible. There's all the brides of Christ, the Protestant women, falling for the great deception. So there we go. The Catholics and the Russian Orthodox Church and Islam 
all ready to work together to tear down America, exactly like the Bible says. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Throw out all your idols and your statues about Mary. Otherwise, you're going to fall for this great deception. And Jesus Christ will make you fall for it. He will make you. He will even make your mind and your decisions make you fall for that deception. Because you have denied him as the only way to salvation. Thank you very much, everybody. This is all real. And it's coming. The world powers want to take down America. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all, because nobody on this earth is going to help us or, or have mercy on us.